Hi everyone, my name is Katja. I'm Kat Coloring and a warm welcome to my channel for both new and old subscribers. Today's video is a translated flip through of yet another of my new Japanese coloring books. If you saw my recent autumn art haul video, you would have seen that I have bought some Japanese coloring books from Amazon Japan. The first one was a Mandela's coloring book. It was called uh, Calm Your Mind Mandela's and it was illustrated by Uchi Kaura. And uh, this one is made from the Japanese illustrator Aikawa Sora. And this coloring book, I think, was actually not her first. I know it wasn't her first, but I think that this was um, the coloring book that sort of um, was a breakthrough for her um, in her illustration career. So before we begin, I will just let you know that you can support me in different ways. Liking my videos, always a nice way to support creators here on YouTube, and I really appreciate it. Subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, also deeply appreciate it. If you want to support me more, you can go to my Ko-fi page and donate a small amount after your choice. You can also donate here on the donate button down below the video here above the description box. You can also uh, think about becoming a channel member and supporting me more directly that way. Uh, someone wrote to me a couple of days ago and said, well, I can't find anything free, uh, a free subscription on your channel, only three paid options. But I just want to say that subscribing to my channel is completely free. It's only if you consider becoming a channel member that you will have to pay. And I have three different memberships supporter early access and exclusive and if you want to become a channel member then you can click the join button down below but the subscribe button is free and will always be free so i would also like to thank my channel member maria sekoy for being a channel member here on my channel so let's get started on this one but before pause the video get yourself a nice cup of tea or a cup of coffee or perhaps some water if you prefer that and then you can hit the play button and again because now we're going to get through with this translated flip through okay so the front page here beautiful illustrated with some of the flowers that we actually meet in the book it says coloring book flower weather flower news Aikawa Sora. And then it says a uh, special coloring flower cards included. And this was actually made in 2017. So it's some years ago since this one was made. And you can see the publisher Cosmic Mook. Then when we open the book, we have the same motif here. So you can color it. And then we have this binding and here we have some advice actually uh, already on the binding here and it says uh, the first one it says colored pencils so these are some sort of av advice to how you can tackle the pages in this book by using different medias uh, so the first one as i said before colored pencils they have a good color development and they can be used to create gradations so it's easy to create different shades and also ideal for layering so colored pencils very good in this book the second uh, advice here is to use watercolor watercolor paints and also ballpoint pens so uh, you can color the petals with watercolors in different shades and then let them dry completely and then you can use a ballpoint pen to draw along the veins of the petals and leaves to create a three-dimensional effect. And you can actually see it here, if we take it a bit more up to the camera, that the watercolors cover the petals and the leaves. And then these ballpoint pens you can use to create shade and texture here in the petals and also here in the leaves. And then it also says when you use watercolors, use a paper base, which means put a paper beneath the page you're working on and keep the amount of water low. 
And the third advice is using ballpoint pens. For vivid colors, we recommend gel ink ballpoint pens. For detail application, use a fine tip of 0.3 to 7.5 millimeters. And for thicker application, use a tip of 0.7 to 1 millimeter. So and ballpoint pens here also, and you can see here that all of these lines here in the petal is made with pens. So gel ink, ballpoint pens, watercolors, and normal colored pencils. So this was some sort of advice page here. And then we have, of course, an uh, introduction page, and we also have a content page. So the introduction says, it's a time of the year when seasonal news arrives, blown softly by the spring breeze. The flower seasoning is coming. In the summer, it shines beautifully in the dazzling sunlight. As the season change with the sound of autumn, the scenery is filled with vibrant colors. And in winter, it's dignified, quiet, and beautiful. Flowers bloom with each passing season. It soothes our hearts. Feel free to color lots of lovely flowers in your favorite colors. With colored pencils, ballpoint pens, watercolors. Feel free to add your color using your favorite art materials. Before you know it, it will be a relaxing and wonderful time. So that was the introduction page. And then, of course, we have the content page. And the book is divided into the seasons. So we have spring flowers divided into the months January with tulips, daffodils, Japanese quince and Japanese anemone. We have February with Christmas rose, primula, viola and pansy. We have March with dark tooth violets, Japanese laurels, nanohana, anemones, and freesia. And April, cherry blossoms, dandelions, white clover, ranunculus, and campanula. Then, after these uh, month pages with all of these different flowers, there is also a seasonal flower arrangement and some spring flowers falling and a spring garden. So there are some more themed like pages after the flower pages. Then we have the summer flowers. They begin on page 30. We have May with carnation and gypsophila, lily of the valley, Japanese iris and peony. We have June with clematis, hydrangea and rose and azalea. We have July with Portulaca, Morning Glory, Lysianthus and Dianthus. And we have August with lilies, sunflowers, gladiolus and bougainvillea. Again, with some seasonal flower arrangement from summer and summer flower wave and a summer garden. On page 54, we go to the autumn flowers. And we have September month with cosmos, sweet osmanthus, chrysanthemum and bellflower. Then we have October with a plant I have never heard of before. It's called Cadlia, Glia, Peacock Feather, and Suribana. We have also a double page with seasonal flower arrangements from autumn and an autumn garden. Oh, sorry, that was a tiger, my dog. I think he doesn't want to listen to all of this talk about flowers because now he's going. Well, on page 66, we have the winter flowers, November, Suclaimen, Camellia, Barbary, and Japanese Daisy. And December with Poinsettia, Christmas Cactus, Nandina ornamental plants. Also have a seasonal flower arrangement double page for winter and a winter windowsill. Then we have a flower tunnel, a list of flower names, how to use the seasonal flower cards, a conclusion, and a special bonus the seasonal flower cards, which I will show you at the end of the video. So the first page we can see here, beautiful flower arrangement. It almost looks like we are out in nature with roses and stuff. And then it says, this is the beginning of a world where seasonal flowers bloom. And then it begins. So I will just flip through all of these beautiful pages and put some music on. And then I will speak at the end of the video with the rest of uh, the text here.
Okay, so on these two pages we have the flower name list and it just says the names of the flowers on the double page spreads of this book and on the seasonal flower arrangement pages are listed here. And then it simply says here which flowers uh, we find on these uh, seasonal pages. So you can find the pages, it says page 10 and 11, and then you can see what kind of flowers we have here. For example, on page 10, it's the seasonal flower arrangement for spring, and it says that we find tulip, gerbera, ranunculus, and anemone here in this bouquet of flowers. And here there are Christmas roses, tulips, ranunculus, gerberas, and stock snowflake. And uh, here on this page, 22 to 23, we find Christmas rose, mimosa, pansy, yamabuki, lace flower, ranunculus, dog tooth violets, cherry blossoms, gerbera, tulip, daffodil, freesia, anemone, hollyhock, and sakura suku. A lot of flowers. And uh, we have sunflowers, roses, and calla lilies here on page 34. Page 35, Hydrangea, Lysianthus, Carnation, and Blue Star. And then it just goes on uh, with the other pages, page uh, 4 to 5, and 16, 17, 28, 29. Uh, also, the summer flower arrangement for summer and for autumn and for winter. Here we have the flower tunnel on page 78 to 79. We have the summer garden here on page 52 to 53 and the autumn garden on page 64 to 65 and then the window sill or the winter window on page 76 to 77. So you can find it all here. And then it says special appendix how to use seasonal flower cards at the end of the book there is a special appendix postcards featuring seasonal flowers from january to december you can color it and complete it color it while thinking of a loved one and send it with a message please cut along the dotted lines and use and please include a stamp when sending so this is very typical of japanese coloring books they are just filled with small advice like this and then we have the conclusion written by Aikawa Sora herself. And she says here, At some point I started to decorate my home with flowers. I try to have flowers nearby when I cook or work. Then no matter how busy I am, I feel less tired and have more peace of mind. I believe this is thanks to the healing power of flowers, which can't be seen with the naked eye. This book includes coloring flowers from each season, season from January to December. I drew this in the hope that people would be able to sense the healing effect of these flowers. For example, when I see flowers blooming by the roadside or when I put small flowers in a vase, I suddenly feel my mind freed, happy and light. The seasonal flower cards at the end of the book feature arrangements of flowers for each month. You can cut them out and color them to create a one-of-a-kind original card. For a special occasion, such as a birthday and anniversaries, and uh, uh, of course for everyday occasions, please send it with a message um, containing your thoughts of uh, thank you for everything. And it will be delivered along with the kindness of colorful flowers. I'm sorry, I can't read my own writing here. And then she finishes off by saying, so please enjoy your time with the flowers of each season. Thank you for choosing this book from the many coloring books available. I cover Sora. A very nice um, ending of this book. And here we have this page where we get to know something about Aikawa Sora. And it says that she was born in Kanagawa Prefecture, currently living in Chiba Prefecture, places in Japan. Graduated from Asagaya College of Art and Design after attending Setsumoto Seminar and F School of Illustration and Hiroyuki Yamada's illustration course 
She is currently active as a freelance illustrator in a variety of media, including miscellaneous goods, books and magazines. She has held solo and group exhibitions in Tokyo. She mainly draws floral motifs using ballpoint pens and watercolors. Her books include Beautiful Flowers and Landscapes of the World, Coloring Book, Flower Walks, published by Magazine Land, and I Love Illustrations, Easy and Cute Ballpoint Pen Notebook Illustration Lesson Book. And this was published by Cosmic Publishing, which has also published this book. And then we just have, you know, the normal things about here, who has edited the book and when it was published and so on. And here we have the appendix here with these uh, seasonal flower cards. And of course, you can say these are for the months, January and February and so on. You can see here, you can cut them out here with the dotted line. And on the back, you can see here, there is certainly room for writing a message and an address and putting a stamp on them. So here we have from March and April. And uh, this paper is really, really thick. It's really cardboard or cardstock thick here. We have from May and June. July and August here. And of course, September and October. And November and December. And uh, that was uh, the end of the book. And uh, here you just find some other coloring books that this uh, publisher has published by other illustrators that you can buy. Uh, a little bit about the paper here. As I said, these cards are really thick cardstock here. It's so nice, but it's also really smooth. So you can experiment with what you want to color these with. The paper in this book is not as thick as uh, the Mandela's coloring book I showed you. So it's not hot spot quality, but it is a nice thicker sort of paper here. And it has a bit of a tooth. I can feel it. It's not that smooth uh, in the surface. So I really do think that you can use all sorts of mediums here and including watercolors. but. I uh, will have to say because it's on both sides, so I wouldn't use a lot of water and I would perhaps try before I begin with the whole page, a little corner and have some paper in behind and just see if, uh, if there is any bleed through. I'm not sure about watercolor watercolors, but I think that watercolor pencils should be doable uh, in this book, especially because they actually recommend it. But I would, I would actually try perhaps with the, the first page here to, um, to try some watercolor here in the corner and then see here, because here you don't have a motive. So you can try here to see if uh, there's any bleed through. Well, that was it. So thank you so much for watching this translated flip through of this flower weather, flower news coloring book by Aikawa Sora. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you will like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So I hope also to see you in my next video, whether it be a color long or a translated flip through or something else. Until I see you in the next video, have a lovely day. Take care of yourself. Happy coloring. Bye.